Hello, and thank you for choosing Quicken Mobile. This video will have helpful hints on how to sanitize and disinfect your power folding wheelchair. Hello, this is Paul from QuickenMobile.com, and you can see that we have our, our mascot Toby here also, and we have an Eagle Power Folding Wheelchair, and we have a whole table full of cleaning supplies. So a lot of people have questions about how to clean and how to sanitize their power folding wheelchairs. What works, what doesn't work, what's going to ruin the chair, what's not going to ruin the chair, and what's going to keep me most safe and most, most effectively most safe. As you can see right now, I have some disposable gloves on. So disposable gloves is a general rule of thumb if you are concerned about uh, germs or if you're concerned about picking something up, it, this is a great first defense barrier right here, just having gloves when you operate your chair. Now, as we can see in the chairs, okay, there are a lot of different types of surfaces. We have you know, a hard plastic surface, we have a, a softer kind of rubberized surface, we have grooves and kind of little crooks, we have, um, we have breathable fabric here, we have memory foam underneath, we have uh, polyurethane wheels, and of course we have metal surfaces as well, we have zippers, um, there's deep ridges and grooves on some of the tires, and of course we have uh, even a different type of material for the tires in the front. So really when it comes to cleaning and sanitizing, um, with all of the different products that are available, what I would like to do is kind of go over with most people what works and what doesn't work, what's efficient, what's inefficient. So it doesn't matter if you have the Eagle Power Folding Wheelchair like you see right here, or if you have the Electra 7 or the Air Hawk, these, these methods are going to be effective for all chairs, and we're going to go over different types of scenarios for when the different cleaning methods would be helpful. So before we really kind of dive into the chair here, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of the actual uh, cleaning agents themselves. So if we come over here on our table, we'll take a look and we'll, we'll have some of the things that are good and some of the things that are not good. Now hydrogen peroxide, if you have an ear and, and a concern about bacteria, hydrogen peroxide is great, but if you're looking to clean germs or disinfect against germs, hydrogen peroxide would not be the cleaning agent that you would want to use. This is more for a bacterial issue. And we have, um, we'll take a look at basically Lysol. So a lot of people know that the actual aerosol can of Lysol spray, the disinfectant, that's a great disinfectant spray. It, it works, but if we take a look at things like, okay, this is a Lysol bathroom cleaner, but it's, it's not just the aerosol spray. So it has a lot of additional ingredients, soap scum and shine. So let's just say, for example, that we put this Lysol disinfectant spray on just because we wanted to be extra safe, and this would be a mistake. I wanna make it 100% clear that if we're using some sort of bathroom cleaner or heavy degreaser, that's not what you want to do because there's a couple reasons why. This by itself on the polyurethane wheels, that might not be a big deal, but it's going to leave a residue because you're, you would have to wash a cleaner off that's dissolved to be a, a, a degreaser of sorts um, that's not just a germicide, but a degreaser. You would have to basically wipe all the residue off, get in every nook and cranny, and then you would actually have something that's clean. Otherwise, you're going to leave a residue on the actual polyurethane itself. And if you're driving in uh, foreign environments or environments that you're not necessarily in control of and know how they've been cleaned, for example, if you're driving down a, a home or something along those lines that might have uh, a hallway that has been dry cleaned multiple times, um, and he's very interested as well, of course, but if you're... If you're looking at residues that you could pick up with different cleaning agents in things like a group home hallway, 
and that would actually interact with the, another harsh cleaner, that can actually create something that could be corrosive to the actual tires themselves or the black marks or something along those lines. So for a bathroom cleaner, let's go ahead and actually leave that one out. Um, we're going to take a look at basically disinfectant wipes. Disinfectant wipes are, are great. Um, the main thing that I would want to understand is basically the different types of, of germs that they would kill. So, you know, it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. That's great. These are probably a pretty safe bet. We'll get into this in just a little bit. And of course we have, um, you know, odor ban eliminates odors. We basically look at kills 99% of the germs and it's basically for air freshening and uh, fabric. So, you know, this, this would be another one that we could use for the seat. Uh, but one of my favorites here, one of the most simple and one of the most versatile and one of my favorites, we've got, and I, as strong as you can possibly get it, it, it definitely a bare minimum of the 70%, you want, I have 91% isopropyl alcohol. Now, what I personally like to do when we're looking at alcohol cleaners is I like to basically make the alcohol into a little bit of a, a spray. So I'm just going to put the straight alcohol in this container here. And of course this is clean, I've used this for isopropyl alcohol before. And we'll take a look at some of the applications with the isopropyl alcohol, what I will and what I won't do. Um, now, to begin with, let's just say, and, and I'm going to make a few videos here. We're gonna do a few videos, so if you're watching this video, this is going to be one video in a multi-part series of cleaning and disinfecting your devices. So what I would do is I would kind of take a look at things and say, okay, it's a, it's a great precaution if I'm just using the spray bottle, I probably don't want to get it really onto other surfaces here. I don't want to spray spray directly into circuitry or I don't want to spray spray directly onto a joystick. I don't want to do those sorts of things, but you know, as a general kind of cleaner here, like with this cushion, this is going to dry very quickly. I want to just kind of give this a good, good few sprays. Now we can see that if I don't have an actual paper towel, it's, it's going to just linger before it actually evaporates. So this is something that you could do to begin with, uh, just to kind of keep the cushions a little bit clean, or we could actually use some sort of odor eliminator as well, because sometimes it's not just a matter of germs that people are concerned about. There's germs and there's odor and there's bacteria. So if it's more of a bacterial issue, spray a few sprays, let it sit, let it linger. There's a few other things that we'll go over in separate videos. Really great little machine that's right there in the corner. It's an actual uh, ozone machine. Um, but there's a specific way to use that machine, which we'll get into in a separate video. So getting back to the actual chair itself here and getting back to the actual alcohol, the first thing that I would do is basically if, I, if I'm really, really concerned about keeping my chair as sanitary as possible, I'm going to remove any additional fabric, anything on the chair that I might feel would be a host for bacteria or a host for germs. I'm just gonna take that off the chair altogether. This, even though a lot of germs that are very harmful don't have a very long lifespan once they're on a hard surface, safety is always first. So things like this, we have an easier surface to clean than if we basically had this and this. There's less area for moisture to be trapped, there's less area for bacteria to be trapped. So if we're concerned, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of strip the chair away from some of the basics, okay? Now, there's a few other areas in separate videos that we're gonna make as far as tires, as far as wheels. So let's go ahead and, and put an end to this one. Let's just consider this a general overview of different cleaners a great reference point because in the next few videos we're going to get into kind of how to protect the wheels, we're going to get into how to clean the wheels, we're going to get into all the nooks and crannies in the joystick, we're also going to go into how to make that actual ozone room uh, specifically to help really odorize and, and sanitize the chair in totality. So I really appreciate watching this video. Definitely we're in some relatively interesting times at the time this video was published, but this is good for any time. And if you have any questions, please visit us online, quickandmobile.com.